How's it going guys? Today we're going to go over installation instructions for our MIU series of underwater lights. We saw three different sizes of basic underwater light as well as our color changing light, what we call the chroma. We're going to go over everything needed to install these correctly and to the factory specifications. When you get your lights, you're going to come in a box like this most likely, depending on the size. Open up the box. You're going to have your underwater light. This is a MIU 15 in royal blue. It's going to come in a nice little bag like this, sealed and ready to go. There's going to be some installation instructions. which is going to tell you everything you need to get the job done, as well as all your mounting hardware, which is important. So what you're going to need to install these, we're going to do this real time so that you can see about how long it takes to install a light and extrapolate that for your boat. You're going to need sealant, so you can use Boat Life or 3M UV 4000. Those are what we suggest. Do not use 5200 or any other harsh adhesive. It's really bad for the composite material that we use in the light. So you're going to want to use Boat Life, Life Seal, or Marine 4000 from 3M. You're obviously going to need a caulk on with that. You're going to need your mounting hardware, obviously. Everything's in here. Screws and our proprietary carbon fiber mounting shoes. You're going to need a scraper, you're going to need denatured alcohol, some masking tape, a drill, and a few drill bits. Just have your toolbox on hand with all your different drill bits. Phillips screwdriver, uh, some latex gloves, and a pencil. Those are going to be the basic things you need to do the install. What we're going to do is we're going to walk through step by step how to do the install, we're doing it right here in the shop on a flat surface so we can get up close and show you everything in detail so you know exactly how to do it the right way to make sure you have nice, uh, durable, and long-lasting insulation on your lights. So at this point, I'm going to cut the camera. We're going to zoom in to the bench where we're going to be mounting it on a nice flat surface. And you can see how we do this real time. It shouldn't take too, too long, so stick with us. All right, so we're back and we're gonna start going through the instructions uh, in a detailed way to show you step-by-step step following the instructions how to install your lights. The first thing you wanna do is obviously watch this video to completion and when you get your lights in the mail, read through the instructions fully uh, so you're prepared to do it and you can do it quickly and efficiently and uh, the right way. That's what's most important is doing it right. Uh, following these instructions is the best thing you can do to make sure that you mount the lights properly. So the first thing you want to do is figure out where you're going to mount the lights on the boat. You want to make sure there's no bulkheads, stringers, wires, plumbing. You want to make sure there's nothing behind where you're going to mount the light because you're going to drill one hole for the wire. You want to make sure you have a clean, clear shot through to the inside to access the wiring. So the first thing you're going to do is clean everything off the boat. Make sure there's no bottom paint, uh, no wax, no... Um, adhesive or anything you want as clean a surface as you can get. So take a stiff scraper, take some sandpaper, make sure the surface is smooth and clean and wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol. You don't want to get acetone or any other harsh solvents on the lights themselves. So wipe the surface down with isopropyl alcohol and then drill your hole for the light. Once you drill your hole for the light, you're basically going to take this out of the bag. They come in these nice bags. This is an MIU-15. Um, comes with six feet of wire on the back, so you can pull it out of the bilge. A waterproof wire gland, a label telling you what model light it is and also what color. Uh, MIU-15 is our smallest light. Uh, two amp draw at 12 volts. Come in a variety of colors. This one is royal blue. So once you have your hole drilled, you're going to feed your wires into the boat and just push them from the outside. I'm pulling them obviously because we're doing this on a bench, but push them from the outside and get your light in. So that's how your light is going to basically be, more or less. What I like to do is uh, take a pen or a pencil and just trace where your light's going to be so you have an idea uh, that everything's lined up. And that's where your light's going to live. Take some masking tape and tape the light in place. Just so it doesn't move on you while you're doing 
uh, the fitment of everything. You're going to dry fit everything ahead of time. And then you're going to glue everything down. So with your light taped in place, it shouldn't move. Even if we were doing this on a transom or the side of a boat, it should be pretty well tacked up in place and not moving. At that point, you're going to grab your mounting hardware. For every light that you get, you should get two of these uh, composite carbon mounting clips and four self-tapping screws. If you're side mounting the light on a running surface, you can use machine screws, but you have to go all the way through the hull. We haven't had any issues really by using self-tapping screws, but some people prefer having that true mechanical clamp on the hull itself. Now these carbon shoes were designed to basically keystone the light and hold it in place, but not put any um, mechanical stress on the lamp itself. So basically these more or less just hold the light in place and provide a mechanical lock, but we're not putting any stress on the lamp itself, which is pretty unique. So what you're going to do is basically hold your light in place with tape, put your shoe on one end. Now there should be a little bit of wiggle between the shoe and the light, this little bit of gap. Uh, usually it's about a sixteenth of an inch. And that basically acts as an expansion joint. You're going to fill that with sealant when you do it. What I like to do is hold everything in place. And just kiss, kiss the hull where the screws are going to be. And you want to do this on both sides. Now once you do that, you can drill your pilot hole. Depending on the material of your boat, go slow, take your time, don't rush drilling the hole. Uh, some boats can be a little bit harder to get into than others. At that point, you're going to take uh, one of your screws. We usually include an extra in the hardware bag just in case you lose one. Take one and run it into each hole. And what you're doing is kind of like pre-tapping the hole for the screw. It'll make your life a lot easier. And a lot of times what happens is when you do this, it pulls out a lot of junk. The hole kind of opens up a little bit and you'll get some uh, either fiberglass shards or gel coat or something chipping off and that's good to get that out of the way because you don't want anything underneath the screw. This is a pretty soft material, this uh, wood bench, so it's not nearly as, uh, as difficult as it would be on fiberglass. So you want to run the screws in by hand just to sort of pre-tap the hole, right? At that point, we get into the second page of instructions. Um, you're going to remove the carbon shoes and pull the tape off the light. Right? And at this point, you have one hole for the wire and four holes for your mounting screws. Now, what I like to do to make the installation really professional is to mask the face of the light because then what you can do is you can really get the the sealant all the way up and around the face. So typically what I do is I'll run tape around the perimeter of the light on the face, leaving the chamfer exposed along the edge of the light. And you can do all this ahead of time as well if you want to uh, add a little bit of protection on your lights while you're handling them. You can uh, pre-mask these before you get down to the boat or before you do the install just to make it a little bit easier and uh, less hectic for you. Alright, so basically what we did is we masked the face of the light but we left the, uh, the chamfer exposed. Now basically all you're going to do is
coat the back of the light with the sealant and have your screws and your carbon shoes on hand, make sure everything's clean. And then you just sort of, uh, you glue the light and walk it into place. We're gonna go through that right now. We have a caulk gun, pop the battery over. And I'm using uh, Boat Life, but like I said, you can use Boat Life or 3M4000, whichever you prefer. I like a nice 3 8 inch uh, cut on the tip because you want a really generous amount of uh, sealant on the back side of the light. Typically what I'll do to make it easier as well is I'll put the wire in the hole first so that's out of the way and then just have the light with some working length on it so just enough so you can get the light over and work with it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to coat the back of the light and you got to be real generous with this because your goal is a void free coating on the back of the light. So I'm being very, very generous with the uh, boat life. A uh, big problem is guys don't use enough adhesive. Um, and these are a very different type of light than anything else you mount on your boat. Uh, they really rely on the adhesion between the light and the hull using the sealant. So it's very important that you do a nice, full, uh, thick coating of adhesive on the back of the light when you mount these, so don't skimp on that. At this point, you set the light in place, and uh, I'll throw some latex gloves on now. And what you want to do is press the light gently. And if you notice, we're getting some squeeze out here, which is good. You want a nice uniform bed of sealant running along this light. You'll hear some bubbles and some popping as the air escapes from behind the light. Now you're getting a nice, good, even squeeze, which is exactly what you want. It's exactly what you're looking for. And what you're gonna wanna do is take a little bit of that sealant, rub it up, along these edges, because that's where your clip is going to go. And you can take a little bit more and put it on the, uh, on the bottom of this clip, and obviously around the screw holes where your screws are going to go. And then you're going to run this clip in place. Helps have a rag, keep everything clean and organized. And what you're going to do is more or less start running in these screws gently. You don't want to bring them all the way down yet. You just want to get them in place so everything's tacked in place. The light should hold itself against the boat because of the sealant, creating a slight vacuum behind the light. To just hold it in place. You want to do the same thing on this side. Kind of spread out your uh, sealant a little bit. There's a little bit more on this side, so it should be okay. Grab your clip. And that's what I was talking about earlier with that expansion joint. See how we're getting that little bit of little bit of sealant up around that? That's good. You want a little bit of cushion between the clip and the light. And you'll notice the whole thing kind of is floating right now, which is exactly what you want. What I want you to do is, is press on the light one more time. Make sure you don't get any more popping or bubbles or anything coming out of it. And then you can go around and gently start pulling in on 
these clips very gently. You don't want to overdo anything. At this point, the whole thing is basically on a bed of sealant. And what I like to do is run my finger around, remove any extra, but also run it up onto the side. At this point, it helps to take a just a paper towel, clean paper towel or a rag, and wipe everything down. That's why I like using uh, Boat Life or 4000 because it's uh, much easier to work with and a lot less caustic than 5200 or, or otherwise. Um, what you're really looking for is just a nice, clean seal and a uniform coating all the way around the light. So at that point, you want to do this while the sealant is still wet. You don't want it to dry fully. You want to peel off your masking. And walk away. Uh, big thing is once you're done, just be done. Don't mess with it too much because the sealant can tend to wander. And you start getting it on everything. So once you're done and everything looks clean, everything will cure. You can get the clear boat life uh, and it cures very clear. Um, the big things to take away from this is if you look at the face of the light, you want to make sure there's no bubbles on the clear bezel. You can very clearly see bubbles through the bezel. So you want to make sure there's no bubbles there. You also want to make sure you have a nice fillet of caulk along here and that you get a good squeeze around the light as well as underneath the clips. The whole thing should be basically floating on a big bed of sealant and that's what's going to give you the most robust and strong application of the lamp. We're going to do another installation video showing how to do these with no fasteners. This light exists uh, in a way that you can mount it with no fasteners whatsoever. So you can just basically suck it onto the boat and let it cure in place. And we'll do another video following up about wiring and uh, fusing and switching and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.